as never before, the continental United States is threatened by the newest and most sophisticated nuclear weapons. Our defenses are continually being probed, our abilities to identify and react tested and challenged. As the military strength of the Soviet Union continues to grow, there is little doubt that any attack on North America would involve manned bombers, a threat that is both capable and flexible. The Soviets have been developing new, faster, and more sophisticated strategic attack aircraft. Their new backfire bomber, ostensibly a medium-range naval reconnaissance aircraft, is equipped for air refueling. Intelligence sources confirm that backfire has intercontinental capabilities for a nuclear strike against the U.S. The Soviets are testing new long-range air-launched cruise missiles for standoff attacks and are developing a swing-wing intercontinental bomber for supersonic low-altitude penetrations. To counter these threats, the United States has taken some effective defensive steps. Radar warning, surveillance, and control is being improved. Present continental surveillance radars are being replaced by a new radar network, the Joint Surveillance System. In addition, the U.S. Air Force is testing the new long-range over-the-horizon backscatter radar, which will extend detection ranges to more than a thousand miles and eliminate line-of-sight restrictions of conventional radars. To increase radar warning effectiveness, the Air Force is employing E-3A airborne warning and control aircraft to serve as moving radar sites, which can be positioned to bridge radar gaps and provide interceptor control. Even though surveillance and detection capabilities have been improved, the United States has yet to upgrade our interceptor force. The continental air defense role now falls primarily upon the F-106, an aircraft with over 20 years of service. Built with 1950s technology to counter subsonic bombers penetrating at medium to high altitudes, its fire control system cannot look down or shoot down, limiting its effectiveness against bombers penetrating at high speed and low altitudes. Because of its limited capabilities, plus insufficient and expensive spares, the F-106 is increasingly unable to fulfill the demanding role as our prime interceptor. Tactical Air Command F-4 and F-15 units regularly supplement active Air Force and National Guard F-106 squadrons. F-15 wings in the U.S. and overseas have had aircraft assigned to air defense alert for a number of years. The F-15 Eagle is a proven interceptor. The United States Air Force selected the 32nd Tactical Fighter Squadron based in the Netherlands as the 1979 winner of the coveted Hughes Achievement Award for Outstanding Air Defense Performance. The Eagle is a superb air superiority fighter designed for long-range intercept. With more thrust than weight, it can climb straight up. The Eagle has a dash speed of over twice the speed of sound. It can fly long distances to meet the enemy away from his target. The F-15's weapon system gives the pilot the flexibility in operations and tactics to intercept and attack autonomously. He can attack several targets head-on and beyond visual range, and then take advantage of the Eagle's performance to turn and re-attack the same enemy formation from the rear. The latest model F-15s include a digital programmable signal processor. The PSP has a high-resolution raid assessment mode, so the pilot can discriminate between multiple clustered targets at long range. This feature allows more efficient use of armament against multiple plane raids. PSP software can be reprogrammed when necessary to adjust to changing threats quickly without installing additional hardware. With its pulse Doppler radar, capable of look down, shoot down, track while scan, and ECCM, the F-15 can detect and attack targets in any weather and those attempting to employ electronic countermeasures.
The Eagle is armed with the latest versions of the radar-guided AIM-7 Sparrow and the heat-seeking AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles and with a 20mm cannon. The F-15 radar already has the range and the modes to match the successor to present radar-guided weapons. The advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. AMRAM will be lighter and faster than present weapons and will give the pilot both multi-shot and long-range launch and leave capabilities. To counter the problem of enemy satellite surveillance, the U.S. Air Force is developing an air-launched anti-satellite weapon. This miniature two-stage rocket would be launched at a satellite from an F-15 at its peak altitude. Because of its exceptional climb and high altitude performance, the F-15 Eagle is an ideal platform from which to launch this weapon. The combat radius of the F-15 can be extended with the low-drag conformal fuel tanks known as fast packs. These streamlined pallet tanks installed along the fuselage can carry about 10,000 pounds of fuel or 227 cubic feet of equipment with no reduction in the number of armament stations. This increased fuel in conformal tanks means better mission flexibility, long high-speed runs, and more time in the air. Another advantage in choosing the Eagle for air defense is its commonality with the TAC fleet. This commonality in systems, logistics, and training also affects force structure and cost effectiveness. Air Force managers can make deployment decisions knowing the equipment and personnel are compatible. After extensive studies, the United States Air Force determined that today's version of the F-15 satisfies air defense requirements with no modifications, and that it is the most cost-effective replacement interceptor. Rebuilding U.S. air defense is worth the cost. For less than a 1% increase in the Defense Department budget for five years, we can obtain a credible strategic air defense surveillance and interceptor force. During the next several years, the Air Force will be spending nearly $2 billion to improve command and control and radar surveillance systems, new regional operations control centers, the Joint Surveillance System, and AWACS are all being introduced. The over-the-horizon backscatter radar is in advanced development, but these systems can reach peak effectiveness only when combined with interceptors capable of stopping advanced Soviet aircraft. To meet and successfully challenge the Soviet bomber threat demands a dedicated force of modern interceptors armed with the latest beyond visual range weapons. Only the F-15 Eagle has the range and radar to detect incoming raids before they can reach their targets. It has been proven in daily operations. It requires no modifications. It requires no research and development. Its performance, weapons system, and armament are combat proven. The United States must have a new interceptor now. The logical choice is the aircraft acknowledged as the best fighter in the world today, the F-15 Eagle.